Bebe. Bebe. So I've been using the Duna stroller for about a month and there's a lot of pros, but there's um, a few cons that I want to mention. Um, I was using the Apple Baby Vista stroller prior to getting the Duna. So the first pro is the width of the wheels. For the Vista, the width of the wheels is really wide because it's a big bulky stroller. Um, I think the width of the wheels is 25.7 inches, I believe. And for the Duna, it's 16.5 inches from wheel to wheel. So I put the tape measure here so you could see what 25 inches look like and how much wider the wheels of the Vista are compared to the wheels of the Duna. So the, the narrowness of the stroller is a really big pro. That being said, because it's so narrow, it can maneuver really well with one hand um, in and out of places like restaurants to go in between the tables, when you're going shopping, in between the clothing racks. Um, when you're opening a door, you can kind of pull it through and turn it, and it just kind of nicely glides you know, where you need it to go. Also talking about a restaurant, it's really nice because what you can do instead of, um, sometimes they have those slings that you put the bucket in and you put it next to you or it's in the aisle and it's kind of just kind of bulky or if you bring your stroller, it's bulky. This is nice because you can put this bar down and then, you know, take the seat away from the table and push this right in where the seat would be and it's not in anybody's way. It's compact, it's nice, you can keep an eye on the baby. Um, I've noticed I've used that a lot and it's, um, with the Vista, I would avoid bringing the stroller frame into the restaurants because it was so cumbersome. I'd end up, you know, carrying the bucket and leaving the stroller frame in the car. Um, the other thing I like is how easy it is to open and close. It has this lever back here that you just pull up and down. So what I do is I block the, the big wheels with one of my feet and then it just closes and it clicks right into space uh, into place another thing i like is um everything that you do with this has like a clicking an audible click so you know it's in place and it's where it should be um, again it's also easy to open you pull that same lever and the wheels just fly right out okay um another thing i like is kind of a simple thing, but the straps on this, you know, when your baby's in there, the straps glide really easily. Um, the other car seat I have and the toddler car seat I have for my other child, I always feel like I'm tugging on it and it's like pulling teeth to get another inch. This pulls very nicely. And so that it doesn't drag on the floor, I just kind of loop that and then tuck it into the stroller there so it doesn't get dirty. Um, I like how the brakes are nice and clear, red for stop, green for go. I like that um, the other car seat that we had, the Apple Baby Mesa car seat that pops into the Vista stroller frame, um, it goes in this position and this position, but it doesn't go in this position. And go to the Duna website to see the correct terminology and how they define this, but basically I think it's called a safety recoil bar. But if you're um, in a car crash and a car rear ends you, this bar takes a lot of the impact of the crash. So that's something that I really like. Um, another thing I like is because you no longer have the bucket um, and the stroller frame in your trunk, your trunk space in, um, is clear now. So that was also an added bonus that I didn't really think about. I no longer have to carry around a stroller frame. Um, as for storage, Obviously, this has no undercarriage storage, but what it does come with that I really like is called the Essentials Bag, I believe. And what it is, is this little knob right here goes into that hole right there. So it just clicks right on. And maybe it's because I'm a second time mom, but I, for my first child, I had a big baby bag and I had tons of snacks and toys and blankets and everything that the baby could possibly need in the one hour that we were out and about. Now I just pack the essentials, which is probably why it's called the essentials bag. Um, you know, a changing pad, diapers, wipes, one toy, 
keys, hand sanitizer, that kind of thing. So that fits right here. There is also, um, you know, a bottle. Um, there is another storage area. You can do the same thing the way it clips, but I think one can clip here and it wraps around underneath and clips to the other side. Um, it's on the Duna website. I forget the name of that bag. Maybe an all day bag. And this is the essentials bag. But, um, that's another pro. Now, talking about the cons, there's only a couple of them, but one of the biggest cons for me is the weight. Because this is has the wheels attached, the weight of this is 16.5 pounds compared to the Upper Baby Mesa bucket car seat it was 10 pounds. So 16.5 pounds plus the baby gets pretty heavy. And as the baby grows, it gets even heavier. Um, however, because it has the wheels, you're no longer really going like this too much anymore. Um, and you'll find that when you see other parents walking around with their buckets like this, you feel bad for them. Um, I've noticed I'm like, there's a, there's a better way out there. Um, but joking aside, it is pretty heavy in the scenarios that you do need to carry it. I've bumped into those a few times, one of them being my son's gymnastics at the gym is on the second floor and there's no elevator, so I have to carry this up. Um, my, my toddler son, his, his gymnastics is on the second floor, so when I have the baby with me, I have to carry this up two flights of stairs. Same thing if you're visiting a friend that um, you may, maybe lives on the second floor of a house, that you have to carry these up the stairs. Another con is parking. I've noticed that I drive a Mercedes GLC, it's like a small SUV, but I need the door to be all the way open to get the car seat in and out. So I've noticed I've been parking in places where either no one can park next to me or kind of if I go to the mall, I'll park further away from the entrance. But it doesn't really matter because, like I said, you're no longer doing this anymore. So it's easy to park far away and just, you know, push the stroller. Um, another con is because you're pushing the stroller, the wheels are, you know, on the on the pavement and getting dirty. So when you put this back into the car, the wheels, even though they don't touch the floor, they don't actually touch the seat of the car. If it's raining or snowy, the wheels are or dirty, the wheels drip and get the seat of the car dirty. They do have wheel caps for about fifteen dollars that you can put on. I haven't bought those yet because um, it also comes with a car seat, like a seat cover. Like it's, it's a pretty flimsy um, seat cover, but it does protect your seat a little bit. So the dirt gets on the car seat cover and not your actual leather seats. Um, but the dirty wheels, when you bring it into the house, I've noticed that instead of plopping it down at my front door, I bring it over to where we have um, like a floor mat and I put it on there so that the floor mat gets dirty and not the wood floor. One more con, and it could be a pro depending how tall you are, is the height of the bar. So I'm, I'm pretty short, um, so even though I'm short, I still use it at the tall level. Um, it goes in two positions, short and tall. It doesn't have an in-between and it doesn't, um, you know, bend in any way. I know some strollers that the, the handlebar bends a little bit. So this has two, short and tall. Um, I read reviews that said that, you know, my husband's six foot two and the bar is perfectly fine for him. And I read some reviews that say, my husband's six foot two and it's way too short for him. So it's kind of one of those things that it's up to, you know, your comfort level and, and, and how you like your arms when you push the stroller. All in all, I would recommend this stroller and it definitely has its purpose. Like I said, I'm, I was using the Upper Baby Vista stroller and since purchasing this about a month ago, I have not used my Upper Baby Vista. So this has met all the needs and all the things that I do during the day. Um, things like going to restaurants, doctor's appointments, um, simple things, going for a walk. If I were to go down the street to the farmer's market and pick up some you know, fresh produce, I'd probably bring my Vista because that has the big under storage where I could throw things underneath. Um, so this, I would say for our family, is a good secondary stroller.
step one. Oh, if Demi can get it. Okay, is it locked? Mm -hmm. Pull the handle all the way up. There you go. There you go, push it all the way forward. And then take that middle part, pull it all the way out, and there you go. And then let's show her how we collapse it. Collapse. So we put the red thing down. No? Yeah, there we go. Bring the handle all the way back and to collapse all it. All the way back, pull this, and then move it forward. Boom. What is that shit up to? Bello, hermoso, me encanta. I love you.